Hi and welcome to this discussion on QR codes in the 21st century classroom. My name is Karina Bali and I've been an educator for over 25 years. I've also spent about the last five years dedicated to 21st century learning and especially learning using the iPad and other technology in the classroom. Okay, so let's discuss what a QR code actually is. So a QR code you would probably have seen in places like supermarkets and stores and shops and that kind of thing and they usually record the information of a particular product, pricing and any of the other details that's related to a particular product. And we can now use those barcodes using a bit a QR code reader in education and has kind of opened up a whole new arena. And what's fantastic is that we can use our iPads and our iPhones or any or even our Android devices to read any QR code that we can create. So the code consists of black modules arranged in a square pattern on a white background. However, these days there are a number of QR creators where you can use other colors as well. And so you can make them fairly interesting for education. And we can talk about that a little bit later. The information encoded can be any kind of digital content, including text, a URL, a document, video and images. As I said, you may have seen these codes in newspapers and magazines or in shops on promotional material in the corner of posters and wondered what they were all about. While it may not have been the initial intent of this technology, QR codes have unlimited potential in the classroom for the 21st century learner. Now this just opens up the whole technological world for the classroom and also for the student. So we can use the QR code basically to do anything and we will talk about that a little bit later. QR codes can provide an alternate access format for students who need additional support in reading and writing. So they're particularly good for those kids who have learning issues. So using a mobile device, students can quickly gain access to information while also incorporating the use of their own literacy support apps or software. For example, if a student has trouble typing a really long complicated URL, they can use the QR code to navigate to that website instantly. Or if a student needs to read instructions for a task set by the teacher, they can scan the QR code created for these instructions using an iPad and text-to-speech capabilities. So how QR codes can be used in the classroom is only limited by the imagination. So some of the ways that I would suggest is that we can take students to websites, as I said, without the need to type in a URL. We can provide information hotspots throughout the classroom to access online videos, websites, text that's related to the curriculum and instructional material. For example, you might have a display on plants and herbs and you could have a little QR code that takes you to some additional information about that particular plant or that particular herb. We can link to worksheets, daily timetables and any lists of work requirements etc. We can send home our home worksheets via a QR code. We can also send them to the parent and that way the parents are on board as to what their children need to do for school. We can adapt textbooks by including QR codes, providing additional information via text, video and audio. So let's say we're reading a poem and with each stanza, we could have a commentary about what that stanza might mean. And that really gives the students some additional information so that they have better understanding of what that poem is about. We could go chapter by chapter as a teacher, summarize that chapter at the end or alternatively, we could get our students to do it as well. We can also adapt textbooks by including QR codes by providing text or audio in an alternative language and this makes it fantastic for our ESL classes. We can attach QR codes to the classroom calendar or timetable to point to information about upcoming class events, assessment reminders and or tests. We could have a QR code scavenger hunt and I've seen this done before and it's fantastic. You know, as, as the students go to each point, there's a different QR code that gives them directions as to how they can get to the next point. Or alternatively, the QR code could ask them to perform a certain task or they might need to find something while they're there and then move on to the next location. We can link to flip teaching, 
as I said before, we can link to homework or assignment instructions and we can provide information for parents. And here are some examples of the kinds of things that we could link to. Here is a project that I created on Paris using Strip Designer and I used the QR code to link the Strip Designer file to Dropbox so that it was easily accessible for my students or the students could do this for their teachers. Some other ideas are students can view YouTube clips for information. You can, during a class concert, or activity or art show, you can distribute programs. So instead of printing multiple copies and wasting paper, you could have a QR code that would link to an art show or to a concert or to some kind of presentation. I have put QR codes inside books to send students to reviews of the book. And here's just another link to another presentation that I did using strip design. We can promote the art room. All displays can have a QR code that takes the viewer to information about the art, history, culture or artist. And this really helps with art appreciation where you could have paintings of particular artists and then links to their autobiography or to their biography. We could link to websites or to videos or to other information that relates back to that artist. We could do the same with literature and we could also do the same with music. We could link easily our QR code to musical links. We can also use a QR code so that students can open a file to annotate. We can use in our general art classes or our social studies classes and we can link to interactive po posters as well. We can scan a QR code to hear a book talk done by one of the teachers. We could liven up our bulletin boards in the front of the classroom by giving parents information. We could also give parents a business card and provide links to a slideshow. We can link to a timeline on the classroom wall or to a student created wiki. And this is an example of perhaps another activity that was done using Poplet that could easily be linked using a QR code. So the kinds of apps or tools to create QR codes. One of my favorite apps is Enigma and you, this is what the icon looks like right here. It's free and easily downloadable on your iPad or your iPhone and also to an Android device. You can add the codes to any document and then they also have a website so you can read up and understand about how to use this app in more detail. There are lots of different websites where you can create QR codes. Here are a couple of examples. One of my favorites is QRStuff.com and we might just take a quick look at that. Here we have the page here. Again, this is a free website. You don't have to pay for it. There is a little bit of advertising down the bottom but we can easily ignore that. Now what I really like about this site is that if you have a look down here, this is all the types of data that you can link a QR code to. So we have website URLs, YouTube videos, Google Maps, which is fantastic, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Foursquare, an app store download, iTunes link, Dropbox, plain text that you could just write on your notepad, a telephone number, a Skype call, an SMS message, an email address, an email message, contact details, a digital business card, and I'm going to show you that in a moment, an event, which is, an, which is a calendar event, a Wi-Fi login, PayPal and Bitcoin. Now some of these won't be relevant to education, but as you can see, there's a huge amount of access here for students. Now let's say we want to create a URL. So we just go here to the website URL. Let's just type in my website. Project Autism. So I can type that in and then I can choose any color that I would like. So let's say that I would like, I'm going to go back to purple because I tend to like purple. And then here we download the QR code. So that downloads and you'll see it comes up as an image and then all you need to do is make a copy. Now I have a dedicated file to QR codes so I can open them up here and you can see that I've created some other QR codes. Make sure you name your QR code because otherwise you'll get confused with what's what. So Project Autism website 
and then save. Now let's say I want to add that into a worksheet and I can just easily insert picture and then I'm going to find my folder, my QR codes and there it is there. So I can use my phone or my iPad or, your, or someone else can use their Android device and then they will be taken directly to my website. So that's one thing. Google Maps is fantastic because here you can type in a latitude or a longitude or you can also find where you are located or you can also find a particular location. So I'm going to find where my daughter is living at the moment. Now she lives over in Virginia, in DC actually. One of the things you could get your students to do is look up the longitude and la the latitude and longitude of where they actually live so that they can type this in fairly simply. So let's just pretend that this is where she's, she's at. It's a little bit further out than here, but this will work for the moment. So I'm going to use green, download and save a copy. So we're going to make this Washington map. Now this would be fantastic for your scavenger hunt. So you could easily pop in some more intricate type maps here as well. Inside Dropbox, you can link anything. You can have files, you can have images, you can have photo, uh, photographs, you can also have music. So you could link any of your worksheets via Dropbox here. I'm not going to give you an example of that. The final thing I want to show you is this digital business card. Now this is fantastic. Now, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'll just show it to you so you can see what it looks like. So in here, you could get your students to pop in a picture. They can have their name. They can make up an organization or a title and a, you know, if they have their own phone, most kids have cell phones these days email addresses and street address. You may not want to pop all that information in, but just for school, it would be a fun exercise to do. And then if they have any of these other kinds of accounts, like a Facebook account, you know, for older students or a blog account or a, an Instagram account, and then they can choose a file or an avatar, and then they save. Once they've saved, they have, it comes up with the ability to choose a QR code to connect straight to that. I think that's a fantastic way to teach name, address, phone number, email addresses to students because it's a really good way to link everything. Okay, so back to our PowerPoint. So another website that I highly recommend is Kathy Schrock's Guide to QR Codes. She has some fantastic ideas in there and it's really worthwhile taking a look at so I generally use the, the below website as we've talked about before. So let's move forward. Now here's a couple of QR codes that I've already created. And on the screen you could pause the video and hover your phone and your QR code over my examples and you'll see some of the things that you can create using a QR code. I have my app list there, a business card that I created similarly to what I just showed you, a link to my Facebook account and also a map to where I'm currently living. There's also a work sample, a website that I also showed you before and then a link to my YouTube page. So there's also a really fantastic TED Talk video that highlights QR codes in the classroom that you might want to take a look at. Thank you for joining me today. If you're interested in learning more, please visit us at Digital Learning Tree. There's some fantastic courses there on using technology in the classroom as well as autism and education and autism and technology, among other courses as well. I am sure you will find something that will suit your needs. Thank you. Have a great day.